Welcome back, everyone, to the second episode in my journey to learning Punjabi. Today, we're going to keep a similar format, but it's going to be a little more structured. So, of course, we're starting with the intro, and then we're going to do a recap of the next lesson. I mean, sorry, of last lesson. And then we're going to do a few uh, lessons and then uh, like a cultural tidbit. And then we'll cap it off there. This should be the format for at least the next beginner episodes, but we'll update you with how it goes, obviously, in the future. Anyway, how are you doing? Satsrikal, Ethan. Satsrikal. Tusi ke me ho? Me... Me thodi thodi. Tusi ke me ho? Nee, me thodi thodi is me little little. That me doesn't little. make any sense. Oh, and then how would I um, say it? What are you trying to say? Um, right. Me thika. But what if I'm like, because Tika is like, um, I, I get the impression that it's like, I'm good. What if I'm like... Nee, I'm good is I'm good. Why are such extremes? Where's um, like the, um, the average? Badia. Badia. You can just say Badia is great. But, you know? how you, how I'm you? not doing great though. I'm okay. Then Tika. i Tika. So what does Thori Thori mean? Thori Thori means little, little. So that doesn't really apply here. What? If you said oh, yeah. Main thoda, thoda, thika, that would mean I'm a little bit okay. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, I'm like... Okay. So, remember the... So, in Punjabi, the words are genderized. I've heard French is like that too. So, which is different because in English, everything is neutral. Like a table and a chair, they don't have a gender. In Punjabi, they do. <laughs> right, yeah. So, so thik is... Um, uh, male. So you would say, Me thoda thoda tika. Oh, okay. Me thoda thoda tika. Yeah. Well, but I don't know. Says Last time that. I said thori thori. Yes. You, you were yeah. okay with it though. Because, you know, when you're learning, when a child is learning, a mother doesn't critique all the time, right? No, it's no, mom. It's different because I'm not a child. Mm hmm. I think there's more liberties you can take here hmm. in correcting me because, you know, you correct a child, they may not understand or they may just start crying. Neither of those things are going to happen here. So Okay, so you want me to yes, you correct can, you, you can each correct. time. For my benefit, Done. for the audience's benefit. Okay. So Even if okay, let's I've start again. everything wrong. So, Satrikal, Ethan. Satrikal. Tu si ke meo. Me tika. Me vi tika. Um... So, um, what, what so let's let's move on. You know, we asked how are you, and um, so let's move on to introductions. So, like saying your name. Is, how about that? Okay, sounds good. So, um, mera naam Jaspreet hai. Mera naam Jaspreet hai. Okay. Mera naam Ethan hai. Very good. So. So it doesn't matter if we say hai or ha huh here, or is that like an accent thing? Um. I always use a. Eh. I don't use the H sound at all. So in Hindi, H is mandatory. That's how they say. So that's the verb. Like, my name is Jaspreet. So I just say, Mera naam Jaspreet a. Eh. So it's your choice. Can I say, Mera naam Ethan ha? Huh? No. Ha or... huh goes with me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when you say Mera, that goes with a. Eh. Okay, I got it. That's simple enough. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if so, if I were to ask your name, I'd say, "Tera naam Jaspreet," or what? No, uh, "Tera naam kiye." <laughs> okay, very good. Since you know a little bit Punjabi, so "Tera" is uh, you, right? "Tera naam kiye." Ki is what? "Tera right. naam kiye." But uh, you know, again, English is very neutral in terms of um, respect. Like, how would you show respect in English to someone? You'd probably add something like sir, ma'am. or. All right. So we, we remember I told you the other time yesterday we said G, you add G, and that adds respect at the end of a person's name or a sentence. Yeah. So the other way is uh, Punjabi is like Spanish here. You know, in Spanish, you know a little bit Spanish. So what are the two ways of uh, talking in Spanish to another person? Like a, addressing an individual, mm -hmm. you could say usted mm -hmm. or tu. Tu. So Punjabi is also tu or tera. Okay. Very similar to Spanish. What about tusi? Tusi is respectful. 
So, um, so for example, let's come back to your name. You're asking me my name. So um, you would say Tuharda, which means your. So you know how it's you and your. Yeah. So it's Tu and uh, Tera, or Tusi and Tuharda. Is that too confusing? So Tu and Tera. Uh-huh. Tusi and Tuharda. Yeah, so Tu Tera is very informal. Like you meet your friends, you can say, okay. Oh, hey, Tera ki hal hai? Like that, right? You're your buddies. But when it's your mom, you're going to say, Mom, Tuharda ki hal hai? Because it's someone older, you want to show some respect. Or your school teacher, your professor, you can say, um, Professor, whoever, Tuharda ki hal hai? You won't say Tera to your professor. Okay, yeah. so Tera and Tuhada, they both are like referring to someone having possession over something. And then uh-huh. uh, Tu and Tusi are someone um, being something. Okay, that's a bit kind of esoteric for me, but I think to just put it simply formal, informal. So tu... wait, no, but I, I grouped the formal and the informal together. Okay. You know what I mean? Like I'm just trying to differentiate the like grammar. Tera uh-huh. and tu, like okay. the difference between them. Yeah. So tu is you, tera is yours, and then okay, yeah. tu si is a formal version of tu, and tu harda is a formal version of uh, tera. Okay. Yeah, simple enough. So, okay. So ask me again. How many? Uh, what's my name? Um. Tuharda naam ki hai? Mera naam just preet hai. Tera naam ki hai? Uh, mera naam Ethan hai. Yeah, so see you asking me Tuharda, me asking Tera like that, right? So is that simple enough? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, and a lot of it will come with practice, you know? So um, so that's one thing. Um, uh, what else do you want to ask? So are there other ways to address yourself or another person so like in english mm. i'll say this is mine mm-hmm. or yeah i guess because there's i mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. myself like what are the variations in punjabi so to i yourself? is me right uh me is mera and my me and mine i think in punjabi are the same mera okay Right? So let's do some examples. So say stuff in English with I and me. Um, I like eating butter chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I like eating butter chicken. Menu. Uh, menu butter chicken. Uh, khana. Uh, like. Pasand hai. So what, what's menu? Menu. So menu is something like to me. Like if you're hungry, menu pok lagia. Pok is hunger. Lagia is to feel. Okay. Menu pok lagia. If you're cold, menu thand lagia. Or thand lagdia. I'm feeling cold. Um, if so, you're hot, menu garmi lagdia. Menu is for feelings. Feeling or something that's happening to you. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah. So, menu, butter chicken, uh-huh. pasand. Hai. Oh, hai or eh. Okay. I like butter chicken. Menu, butter chicken, pasand. Hai. So, I know pasand. I've learned pasand before, just for reference. Uh-huh. Uh, pasand is like you, you love something or like you, you like it a lot. Um, yes, you like something. So, why are there so many extremes in Punjabi? Like... Because like at the beginning, you were like... Tika, which is typical, Tika is like, usually from what I've heard, it's like good, right? Mm-hmm. But when I asked, like, I'm doing all right, you were like, okay, it's just met Tika. And then, you know, you say, I like a food. It's like, I love a food. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, so why teak, are there, like, the, the literal meaning extremes. of Tika, so we know for sure, Tika means right. So literally when you say, I'm met Tika, is I'm all right. It doesn't mean good. It just means that teak means right. Okay, so it's just something that's get that's like used a lot. Yes. Okay, so, so it's like you you plug it into yeah, kind of and even when people are having a conversation, let's say you're telling me a story, and I'll say teak, you know, like okay, right, right, like that. Okay, I understand. So it's not extremes. It's just no. Like, 
overused words. It's just a very overused. Teek. And there's another one, acha. Acha, which means well. You know? Okay. Acha means good. But again, in conversation, I had a neighbor one time in Pennsylvania, and she asked me, uh, she said, what is the meaning of Asha? <laughs> you mean? She said, my next door Indian neighbor, we're friends. And she's always on her phone saying, Asha, Asha. <laughs> so I could not understand. What is this Asha? Because the ch sound does not exist in English. So it's a ch. Can you say that? Ch? Right. Like, so that, wait, but that sounds like cheese. No, no, different... it's not ch. That's a different letter. Ch. More like H. So it's like in between the SH and CH. Right. So that is a letter in Punjabi. It's called cha cha. Ch. Ch. So a cha. A cha. A cha just has two letters the a and the ch. And that's it. And the rest is well. So in in English, you would have to write so many C, S, H, I don't know what not to write that. Right? Yeah. Or it just just doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Similarly, teak. The T sound does not exist in English. So when you say it almost sounds like a teak. Teak. It's not teak, it's teak. Teak? Teak. You, you release air as you say the T. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a much harder T. Yeah, I'm used to it because I learned it as a kid. But it's uh, again, it's a letter tata. It does not exist in English. Interesting. So Punjabi has many sounds that you've never heard of. Or you used to blending those sounds, you know, like the, the T H E, that the is a separate letter in Punjabi, the the, it's a soft D. The. The, the. You you put your tongue at the back of your front teeth, the. 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 It's not dad like daddy. It's the. So is that like the, uh, saying the letter used in vadia? Vadia, yes. Okay. Vadia is actually different. It's the da. It's a, another slight oh. subtle <laughs> variation of the da. And variations. but yeah, but I think for our purposes for today, it's um, a bit of a rabbit hole. <laughs> 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 so many variations. <laughs> yes. So I would say that I don't want to sort of scare you away from Punjabi because it's very different from English, but it's not that different either. So okay. I think you know uh, when you when you learn the letters of Punjabi. Um, the writing of Punjabi, then those differences become very clear. Okay, I see. Yeah. Well, what else can you tell let's, me? Let's complete the introduction and just random things that you say every day. Um, so, okay. um, for example, what time did you wake up today? Um, well, I mean... I, I woke up at 5.30, but I hit the snooze alarm for about half an hour. So, I mean... So, let's say that in Punjabi. So, so think. I want you to say, I woke up at 5.30 today. In Punjabi? Mm-hmm. Uh, May mm-hmm. 5.30. Mm-hmm. Utiyan, mm-hmm. Huh. So, I have learned Utiyan before. That means to get up. Yeah, Ut is to get up. Ut. So, how about today? Today is Aj. Uh, oh, Aj me mm-hmm. um, 5.30. Mm-hmm. Huh? So, how much English can I use in Punjabi? Because I know a lot of people, mm-hmm. when I'm listening to you, mm-hmm. or even when you watch like a Bollywood movie, mm-hmm. there's a ton of English flying around mm-hmm. within like their Hindi or Punjabi. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what, where's, the, where's the line? There is, it's tough to say um, because... Um, you know, the British were in India for a couple of hundred years. In Punjab, they were really just there for about a hundred years or so, from the mid-19th to the mid-20th century. So English is there, and all the higher education is in English. So, and I am an urban Punjabi, so I went to school and learned English too. Um, so I was le- growing up with three languages, English, Hindi, and Punjabi. So that's why English is thrown out a- around a lot. Interesting. Okay. So are there certain kinds of words that are used in English more? Like, uh, for example, saying a number, Mm -hmm. I imagine, like you'd say that in Punjabi because it's a number, it's pretty Mm -hmm. basic. But something like a a blueberry, I've never heard you say Punjabi word for blueberry. You know what I mean? Like Blueberries. You know, it's true because I never saw blueberries uh, in Punjab. 
Okay, so it's kind of like you say the Punjabi words you've heard before, mm -hmm. and if you haven't heard that before, you say English. True, yeah. So <laughs> to say, I woke up at 5.30 today, Aj mein, um, five is punch. Okay, so Aj mein punch, sade, sade punch is like, um, uh, so like, you know how in English we say half past seven, but British say it a lot, you know, like half past seven. So in Punjabi, we say sade whatever sade means like half past so sade okay. punch means 5 30 sade che means 6 30 like that okay i, I yeah. understand yeah so aj mein sade punch vajay sade vajay is like o'clock like you know five o'clock something like that okay so does vajay literally mean o'clock or is vajay like a, a time word so i can just use budget whenever i want to talk about time um not really i would just say it's, it goes with the time exactly like the clock like, for example, you're meeting a friend uh, at 4 o'clock today. So you will say, char vajay. Char is 4. Right. Char vajay means at 4 p.m. I'll meet you at 4 p.m. today. Okay, but what if I want to say, like, um, let's, what time do you want to meet at? Like, ki, could I say, ki vajay? Uh, to meet. <laughs> meet good question yeah so it would be not what time um kinne vajay it would be kinne kinne is oh but you'd still use vajay yeah you can with time you can yeah so anything with time i can use vajay yes yeah kinne okay. vajay like what time kinne vajay all right i won't get down that rabbit hole but anyway getting back to, <laughs> to the original thing right uh so i'd say or i woke up today at 5 30 yeah aj so, mein panj sade panj vajay Utya. Okay. Aj me mm -hmm. sade panj vajay. Mm -hmm. Utya ha. Utya ha or utya si because you it's past tense. So ha okay. is present, past is si. Well, I'll put the past tense on hold for right now. <laughs> okay. okay. Break down the sentence just so that people can understand it a little bit better. Because mm -hmm. it is, we're going at a little quick pace and I do want to take a side here quickly and give like a... What are you? What are they called? A breakdown. A no, 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 no. Like mm. uh, a disclaimer. Yeah, that's the word. So, again, I mentioned it briefly last podcast, but I have been learning Punjabi for a while. But a lot of the Punjabi that I do know is just kind of like random, and it's it's very beginner level. So that's why I like sometimes I'll know a random word, or the sentence isn't as confusing to me. So that's just a little disclaimer. Quickly. Okay. Got yeah. So, for the sentence though, aj is today, mm -hmm. then me sade panj vaje. Mm -hmm. So five past, or I guess it'd be it's backwards, but half past. Yeah, five. half past five. Oh yeah, it's not backwards. So half past five o'clock. Uh, then uttiyan, which is get it to get up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah. Uh, mm. Okay. So a little long, but. So yeah, you got it. Yeah. So, and then what did you eat or drink? How's that? How would you say that in Punjabi? Um wait, what are you asking? Like, are you asking me to ask you what I'm you just ate, I'm or? just saying it's a good sort of practice in, uh, for a beginner student, like in the target language, to say your routine, for example. You woke up what time? What did you eat for breakfast? And then what did you do? Because when you're learning a language, you want, you're going to say these things every day or, you know, like just talking about your daily routine. So it's, it's good to know these words. Right. Um, wait, but what are you asking me? Like, like what, when you woke up, then did, what did you eat for breakfast? Oh, like, what did you okay, do? Gotcha. You know, things like that. Um, me, gym, mm -hmm. go. Okay. Huh? Me gym gya. Gya? Gya is a past tense for I went. I went to the gym. Okay. Me? Me gym gya. Gya, si. You can say si for a complete literal, okay. complete sentence. So do you want to get into si right now, past tense, or do you want to save that for next Yeah, lesson? because we're learning naturally. So there is no, like, time. We're going to learn past tense or future tense. Because in our everyday conversation, we talk about things we did. We talk right. about what we're doing and what we're going to do next. So I think it's natural. The time. Hmm? The time. So uh, what do you think? Um, I think we are running short on time. 
unfortunately. But now you know what we will cover next lesson, the past tense. So here we go. Every single day, we will come out with a podcast episode. So do you want to briefly... Let's do a brief recap. I think it's good to do a brief recap. Okay. Because yeah. we kind of jumped from here to there. So yeah, we were all over the place We covered today. me, mera, menu, the different ways to uh, express yourself. Menu is about something that's happening to you, whether it's a feeling or not. Um, mera is something that belongs to you. Mm-hmm. Um, and me, we talked about me last time. It's something that like is you. Or like me I. is I. Yeah, it's like, it's the equivalent to I. And then Oh, the uh, tera, yes, tera yeah. and tu si, mm-hmm. or tera and tu hada, mm-hmm. the informal and formal, mm-hmm. tu and tu si. Mm-hmm. Those are the versions. And then is there like a menu but for someone else feeling? No, like then they will like be... if you want to say menu but instead of it being yourself it's like tu hanu. Oh, tu hanu. That's a great question. I never okay. thought of it. Tohanu. So, Tohanu. Unfortunately, we didn't get to dive into Tohanu, but it, I assume it follows the same rules as yeah. Menu. Yeah. So, yeah. A lot of this is, I assume, is just like plugging in. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it's like a pattern and you can apply it to different things, right? Puzzle pieces we're, we're doing. And one yeah. day they'll all come together. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're coming together slowly. Yeah. But, uh, and then we covered some extra vocab mm-hmm. at the end with... Uh, Like, your daily routine. Yeah, daily routine, waking up and yeah. stuff. So anyway, that was good. Uh, Twenty minutes in the future, we will seek to make these a little bit longer as we include more s- input, more comprehensible input. Mm-hmm. I know it's not typical comprehensible input, I don't think, but we're developing our process. But anyway, we'll catch you on podcast three. Changa fair, fair milda. Changa fair. Mm-hmm. Gotta get the pronunciation right. <laughs> I'm right. with you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.